Hi, John here. Today, Monday, the 15th of August 2016. I'm supposed to be in court today, but mysteriously, it's been put off to next Monday. I'm guessing that uh, this police case against me is looking quite bizarre. The fact that they got their own laws separate from the statute laws of Parliament and separate from any other law of the New Zealand Crimes Act 1961 and 1951. They've designed their own law which is stacked up against my barrister Shannon Withers from Vulcan Chambers and just got off um, texting to him and I sent him a phone call uh, he said to me he'll talk to me later and uh, in a text. So that was a, a little bit um, not worrying, a bit um, um, premature, I guess, for the hearing today, it's supposed to be, but uh, he needed no more time to make sure that CIB Detective, Criminal Investigation Bureau, Detective Natalie Flower du Barn has to be in court. She's in Solomon Island at the moment. They whisked her away or spirited her away in January after my court hearing. It's taken that long, eight months, to for me waiting, holding up my business. I told him uh, in our last meeting last Sunday, not this Sunday, the Sunday before, uh, that uh, I'm not very really happy with being strung out and that we force the court hearing to get her into court and Mr. John Wanoa, the other man that's countersigned my signature on the bail bond to release me from prison very serious allegations I'm making against the police and their handling of a case, especially land cases, where there's lawyers involved, land lawyers, conveyance lawyers involved in what I'm doing. It's none of their business to know, as third parties, anything to do with land. And the other people who jumped in the road between me and the landowners of Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, where well, I used to be 61 Cook Street, <coughs> tempered with my information and my claim against them. So I'm not finished with that yet. I'm still seizing the land off them because we have an inherent right as natives owners of this country. Until you show me otherwise who the owner is, then I want to see it in front of the court hearing whose land you're playing with. Me and my chief, I'm just about to bring him up to let him know. And his chief's in Napoli, up Waitangi. <clears throat> that I'm going to demand an answer of who this mystery man John Wanoa is and how Natalie Flower Dew Brown authored the documents to arrest me illegally without authority or seals of the court or of the Queen of somewhere. Queen Elizabeth, Queen of Brussels, not Westminster, not New Zealand, but somewhere else. You see, they don't know that. I'm on that all the time, finding who she is and who these people are running this country off the rails with John Key and his government. Tax havens. Panama tax havens, that's this is part of it, because it's real estate and land they're selling without our authority of the chiefs. Now I'll ring Kingi Tola. I always like to talk to my friend. I hope he's there. He's on the radio station, Radio Wate. Kingy! Kingy!
Hello, mate. Where are you? Uh, where are you? Home? Oh, that's all right. That's all right. I'm just uh, checking with you. I'm supposed to be in court today, but um, they put it off till next Monday. Yeah, it's next Monday. Let you know that um, I, I just got off the text with my barrister. I've had a meeting with him already, but I think they're a little bit worried uh, about about my case, about how they um, conducted the whole thing, um, and with that land. So uh, I'm still pinning the land to a claim that they had nothing to do with. The police, I mean. They made their own laws up on the documents. I'm challenging the documents. The documents, the, the, the detective wrote the documents, not, not sealed by the barristers or the Bar Association or the court or, or the Queen. They, they do that all the time, so I'm catching them. And I told my barrister, I want, I want Mr. John Wanoa, the other person that they're imitating, in the court with her. So she's not here. So they're telling her she's got to get back to court here. She's in Solomon Islands. They whisked her away, you see, to hide her away from what I'm doing to them. And it's all, it's all connected back to you up at Waitangi with that land. And, and I'm pinning the land case to your one on, on the Waitangi Marae itself as the authority, where did they get that from? You see? Where, 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 where's the authority when the Queen's not there? And that's what I'm saying, I'm saying to my barrister, that I ask the judge to check there's no Queen above his head. It's nothing, she's in the EU Parliament, not, not, not in Westminster. And so you've got a problem with your seal. So those are just outside things besides what I'm doing, making the police own up, making them own up because they write the laws themselves. All those documents that you go to court with, they're doing it themselves, not the lawyer. Oh. Okay. Okay. King's going to ring me back. He knows I'm limited on my phone calls. Um, so I keep, keep in touch with Kingy because at the end of the day, it's between him and the Navy in Britain that got command over these lands. That's what I'm saying. I'm his legal surrogate, King William with his flag, to speak on those terms of whose land is it that we're talking about on Cook Street. It's no different to whose land it is in Waitangi. Yeah, Kingy, um, it's very important. We don't have to have a meeting yet. I'll get this one sorted for next Monday because he just told me that's when the court hearing is. Um, I'll probably be at nine to be there. But it's very important to lock them into contract with us, with, uh, with the Navy in Britain. That's, um, I've got the company opened up over there now, in the company's house, ready to go. On that end, with, uh, with uh, um, business here, on this end, through that uh, Waitangi Marae. So we're, we're sort of saying, well, it's our turn to take over the Marae as their office. That's, that's Mataparae's office, you see. And so you're stepping in there, on documents, I'm saying, to make our documents add up, right? Yes, you, you, you being the uh, contractor to the British Navy, this is how I'm going to hook them into covering for, for, for what they're supposed to do to protect us. And that's what uh, that fellow Moon said, that professor said that British uh, Westminster, they're liable for letting John Key run loose. Right? Right? They're, they're still, I'm, making, I'm holding them liable to pick up the tab um, because the Queen's not there and somebody's letting these guys go haywire and with their law and their police uh, state, see? But that's before the Navy gets here from America, with Obama's going stupid too with Clinton, they're gonna, the, the, the John Key's already got the Navy coming here. When they come here in November, then Mataprai goes to England to fill the vacant spot of the Queen and start, sell the rest of the land off here.
That's why I'm going ahead of him there. Jump there before warning them over there. I'm coming there. To, 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 to ambassador to you on, on, on Waitangi Marae to make the documents stack up. Right? I've got all the documents in the um, barrister's office on Facebook now, so everybody's looking at it. It's all disclosed of our intention to take that piece of land with the law. They've broken the law, the New Zealand law, they've broken by forging the documents to come here and pick me up and take me away. And they they picked on me, and I'm saying, okay, where's this flipping birth certificate with my name on it? So now I'm holding them to, to make that other name, John one or fella, turn up that I countersign, or they countersign to get the money out to pay themselves with. You see? They're all caught with their finger in this um, uh, other, other bit of me, like you know. You know, they call it straw man, I call it a mystery man. And so they've caught up in that now because I'm telling the barrister what to do. And and he has, I can't talk in court, you see. So he, you, you've got to have a barrister. So he's got to go and tell the judge, oh, John said this. Then the barrister will say, yeah, we know, it's, it's, on, it's, it's on YouTube, you see. So it catches them committing the fraud to me. And now all I'm doing is converting the, 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 that into a, a case where we win. You see? We win the case because that fellow John Wano won't turn up the other one that they've made me into to make money. Hmm? So it, it, I'm, I'm, I'm saying to the barrister, I want, I'm claiming that money of that John Wano that countersigned to let me out of prison so that you can get the money to pay yourselves. You see? It's caught them. It's caught them. That's why they are taking their eight months now to give me a disclosure on, on what the police are disclosing to me. It's only a little bit. It's not the bits I wanted. So the judge is going to say to the barrister, well, I gave you a disclosure, full disclosure. It means what I'm asking for. And one of them is that birth certificate. I want to find where all that money is. It'll be a heap of it. Uh, King, if I can get one, I'll get the whole lot. You're next. <laughs> you see? So that's that side. But when it comes to the land, that's a, a, a land matter. Those barristers of those owners should have got on to me and said, back off. They didn't. They didn't even answer. So I'm saying, if the case is this, if that... If that detective woman doesn't turn up, or this fella called John Wanwa with the same birth certificate as me, then we take the land. We win the case, and the police interfere as a, as a third party. See? I think you can understand that, but I'm just telling you, this is all going through you at, at, the, at the, the Waitangi Marae, in that, in that Marae to, to use the flag, to use this flag to put it up against them. It's got more authority in their flag when you do it like that. Because the whole bloody world is watching. They're, they're saying, yeah, what, what, what's going to happen? Who, who, who's crooking who? So really, the police are doing this all the time to people. And if, if you've got to catch them doing it, you see. If I didn't go to prison, I, I wouldn't be able to do this. So now it's just, it's just a live case in front of everybody. It's, and they, they, they don't know how to handle it. That's why it's taking this long to do. And the barrister, he kept asking, I put, I put him on, on video in his office. And so everybody's listening to what he's saying to me. And it, it just shows that he, 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 he has to ask the judge for me on my behalf and do what I say. Because he's getting, his fingers are in that money too, to pay him. You see? You see? Okay, they're cunning. They're very cunning, those buyers. <laughs> so it, 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 he knows he, he can't put a foot wrong because I can, I can say to him, where did you get the money from to pay yourself to do my case for me? It must be a few thousand. There's 43 of them. I'm saying, who's paying those people? I hope it's not coming out of my account because I want a full audit on it. See? A tricky one, eh, King? But that's basically that part of it, uh, using those instruments, using, using 
those things to make money. That's all it is. And they, and they use the uh, Panama tax havens. That Cook Street is one of them. That's, that's doing the same thing with those businesses on their property. So I um, exposed them and the police have jumped in to save them from their lawyers. So I'm saying you fellows have conspired to defraud me, my chiefs, and the, pu the public. And so they're caught in that lot. The judge can't say anything because he's only there to see who doesn't, um, who, who doesn't come up with the, 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 the evidence. You see? doesn't matter about whose land it is, King is all the same. It's the kings or the queens. See? And I say, there's no queen. We're the king now. King is the king. <laughs> king is the king. So, really, I'm, I'm just saying, um, we get one thing at a time, and this, is, this, this will get your land back. If I pull this off, it meant that they can't match the evidence and and people the judge can't ask um, to me to to keep quiet because I I put it all out and and he can't go looking for new information because they have to prove that I'm wrong they're going to find very difficult to prove I'm wrong in the public you see so that's that's all it is can you we, we don't need to see each other I just told you what's happening but at the court case next Monday so if you you can come to that, then you'll, you'll, it'll be good for you to meet that barrister because he'll be batting for you. Okay, cheers. Bye. Well, there you go, folks. I told you. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to work that lot out. Anyway, Kingy, thank you very much on this video. Uh, he's the chief of uh, uh, Ngahui on behalf of the Hapu. He's on one side, on that side, the queen side, with the iwi, Maori. And I've dressed him up on this side with the king and the Maui hapu. Maui hapu on this side, King William IV flag. Queen Elizabeth on this side, nowhere to be seen for the dust. And John Key and his iwi Maori. The iwi Maori is an invention of the Crown Corporations. They made it up. This side, the King William is real, his memorial and his flag. Dates him and us at 1835, 28th of October this year. 182 years. This side, solid as a rock Moai statue, memorial, 300 AD. Right? Two solid memorials, titles. Moai, land, title. East Island, Pacific Islands, and native Tahitian and Pacific Islander. Okay? He's standing in London. He's the commander there and the chief in Queen Elizabeth's Great Court in the museum in London. That's our title on this side with King William there. I'm going there. Okay? This side, Queen Elizabeth abandoned ship and went into the EU Parliament and demolishing Westminster with the ISIS and the Iwi Maoris, corporations and trusts. In the meantime, the Pope destroyed that lot and all his laws to stop the fraud and corruption on that side. He cannot touch this side the king and the Maui statue because that's a separate contract. A separate contract. We're still in contract with this flag at 1835 with King William IV and King Ernest Augustus the fifth living in London. I'm going to see him, put him in Westminster. Okay? So this this side solid as a rock. Maui, this side fragile and in debt. Creditor, levy, creditor, pound note, gold coin, King William IV, X of the Bank of England, 1833, pound note, X, 1833, 
Money Act, 1833. This side created the money and created our contract with the flag. This side, Zilch. John T. No mana usurping power from somewhere. He only goes on a three year term of the pulse of voters, whether they're crooked or not. That's all he lives on, is day to day, day to day on the whim of what the voters say, because they've got a majority of people on their side, as Pākehā, and only a few Māoris, the Māoris will always win, uh, always lose in any elections, that's historic. They'll always lose there, not the Māori won't lose, because he's the landowner. He's, he's, he's the original title holder. The Maori here is a document, piece of paper, piece of paper, piece of paper with a certificate on it. Birth certificates, all the certificates are on that side as instruments to buy and sell you on the market. That's why they use my birth certificate on that side to make money out of me. I'm just explaining to Tim how that works. I think he got it this time, many times over. I have to tell him a few times, and I'm telling you a few times. Repeat it enough times, you'll get it. Right? Repetition is the source of information that will turn real. You say it enough times. I've been saying this since 2004, Fourth Law and Seabed Act, Helen Clark. I've been saying this all along that. It was a fraudulent deal. Everything has been fraudulent on that side. That's why no one wants Helen Clark in the EU, uh, United Nations, because of her track record. Right? Her track record is that she didn't support indigenous nations. She's only herself, one man bands like John Key. Right? Here, it's a cooperative movement. We've just registered our company, Moai Powerhouse Group Limited, in the company's house, London, and I'm waiting till tomorrow, Tuesday, to get cleared, all clear, and we're off to England to do business between there and here, how it should have been under this flag. We're taking our mana and our authority of this flag back into Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, with Kingi. I'm dressing him up for his role as the contract hapu chiefs there with Napui straight to Westminster. I'm going on that end to be the ambassador of this country, their country, this country. People, you're still occupying the land. All your documents of John Keyes are just occupation titles on the land. We still control the whole title. Unless you show me a title from my barrister at the courthouse next Monday, the 22nd of August, you have no title. That's what I'm saying to them. You have no title if you haven't got what I've put on Facebook. All the things, all over the place on Facebook, Twitter, Google, and our website, mypowerhouse.com, is real, people. Is real. I've just spoken to my chief, King Itaurua, who has to appease those people on the Crown side and Iwi Maori, and then he has to come on this side and appease the Hapu Maui native. You can call yourself anything. I'm just saying Maui is everyone in the world. On our website, on our share company, a new share company, my Powerhouse Group Limited, London. That's everyone. Moai is everyone in the world. Not limited to just Polynesian. But he's originated from um, East Island, Rapa Nui, to Mokanui, Aotea, New Zealand. So it doesn't matter. Those are just memorial in its place that gives us substance and gives us our mana in the land. Okay? 
We've got spirit law of God, truth, with Moai. And you've got man's law, this one, with King William Westminster. Man's law, Moai law. Spirit is missing. That's what's been missing all along, the truth. Nothing but the truth, so help me God. It's the truth that prevails. Over that side, you see, I'm going to the court with truth. It's for someone there, the police, to say it's not true. It's not true, but I do. All, right? All the laws in the world, the Pope destroyed. They cannot use those laws against me, Kingy, because that I'm going on, I'm citing them on motu proprio. The X I put online, I sent to my barrister. I said, follow that. That's my backup between what I'm saying about my birth certificate I want back, the account, the full account, audited and returned to me. It's claimant and it's inheritor of that name. Are really going to court for that and to pull that John Wanoak person into the court with that detective who created it and made it all up. Pakeas are wicked when it comes to forging documents on that side to make money. Picked on the wrong person, Natalie. You should have did your homework. There's lawyers to do these sort of things, not police, so not lawyers. Neither are they barristers or the law unto themselves. Clearly broke the law. Using the Crimes Act 1961 and 1951, broke those laws. You, that's what you did. I put a whole stack, truckload of them, to the barrister. I said, look, those are there. The main issue here is the documents. I said to my barrister, Kingy, I'm challenging the documents. The authenticity of those documents, the seals of those documents used on me. I, I've got documents too. I've got warrants to see their property. Right? That's my law with my chiefs. I can write what I like because we still have the overriding title to this country, the native title. That You may have all your things stuck on the top of it like that, but we own the bit at the bottom that's holding you up. All right? You can jump in the water and sail back to where you came from if we don't get a deportation order. Or you can remain there and join Moai on this side with the king. He's white too. I'm not saying whites are all bad. I'm saying the king is a white man. He made the law that we swear our oath to this flag and its laws. 1830 to 1837, acts of Westminster Parliament. We swear our oath to those acts, that king, and King Ernest Augustus, King Ernest Augustus, King of Britain, UK, today. He is the inherent King of Britain, UK. I don't know why they don't just nominate him and, and kick the Queen, because she has caused so much trouble on that side, and so much strife through the world, with Hillary Clinton and Obama running roughshod using the Admiralty Martial Law on the people of America. I'm watching everything they do wrong with the Admiralty Law and I'm testing their documents at the same time as testing John Key's documents. If your documents are forged or are not authentic or are fraudulent, then you lose the land. That's what I'm saying. You lose the land. It's our right to take our land back because it's still ours. It's still the native's land. No matter what. That's the law. Okay? The British are liable to leaving John Key. I said, you heard me say it's Key. The British are liable for leaving John Key's governments here, successful governments, and their legacy to run this country into the ground under the British. They're liable to make them pay up the debt owing, the levy debtor, 
that I put up against each person I name is the law. Next Monday, when we go into court, and Natalie Flower Dew Brown, Detective, Criminal Investigation Bureau, she doesn't turn up next Monday. I told her, I told Barrister Shanna Withers, if she doesn't turn up, or Mr. John One Hour, in capital letters, that person, that countersign, you had to sign on the opposite of me signing a bail bond that's like blackmail. He said to me, what do you mean by blackmail? I said, that's blackmail. To get me to come out of prison, to go free, I had to sign my birth certificate, right? Which is this instrument that someone else signed. I want that disclosed. Who signed it? It has to be John One Noah in the person because that could be my missing brother that I've been worrying about for a long few years because he's the one with all the money. I want to find where that money came from, whose money it is, and who signed it other than him. That's the crime. That's under this Crimes Act 1961 and 1951. You'll find I put them all in there. I'm going to put them online tonight. All those acts that have been broken on those um, documents, those fraud documents that Oh, I have to go. I have to go now. I've got to go to my um, green, green plan health uh, um, course at the Odahu um, Community Centre gym. I have to go to the gym uh, complex, $30 million complex. I'm lucky to have that brand new place to go and meet the trainers because I haven't been to the gym for a long time. So I better cut this video short now and say to you thank you very much for watching and we'll see you later I'll carry on talking and finish this off later because I've got to fly see you later thank you Kingy and thank you everyone watching bye